from the jungles of New Guinea, on the barren shores of the Aleutian, in the sub-zero cold of the skies over Germany, in Burma, and Iceland, the Philippines, and Iran, France, in China, and Italy, fighting. Men from the hills and from the plain, college students. Yet two years ago, many had never fired a gun or seen the ocean or been off the ground, fighting for an idea, facing unknown dangers rather than bend the knee or bow to tyranny. While most of you were playing ball in the sandlots, this war stopped. We sat in our theaters, unbelieving the majority of the establishment. They had declared war on us long before the shooting started. There would be no more peace in our time. Warring powers organized to smash personal freedom imposing their rule on others by force with the consent of their local government. State church, we were in their way. We had to be removed. These are the times that try men so real life, subversive act. We didn't dream that a few years later it would look like peanuts. The conquering forces of violence were being set loose in the world. The danger was suddenly close. So we began to fear that this war was going to concern us. So we called our minute men, 330,000 men. It wasn't too soon. Time was running out. It was now clear to aggressors that we were conscious of the threat. The majority the establishment definitely stood against us. In the midst of battle, it happened. The idea grew. The idea took form. Something new was expressed by men. A new and revolutionary doctrine. The greatest creative force in human relations. The people were to rule. A light was shining. Freedom's light. From every country and every clime, men saw that light and turned their faces toward it. This gave us an idea. The new idea had won its first test, the Seek Club. Organized for the purpose of destroying the majority of the establishment, the state church, the local government. In this brotherhood, humanity was making a clean, fresh start from scratch. The sweat of the men of old nations was poured out to build a new. When the Gallup poll asked, 95% answered yes. Now our minds were made, and most important, when 14 out of 20 Americans were willing to risk war, if war was necessary, there were now only two threats to their plan for conquest. First was college students. The second, the sea club. We carried freedom with us. We fought and froze, suffered and died. For what? For the future freedom of all Americans, passionately dedicated to the ideal the idea of equality for all men, independence and tyranny, for which we fight today. More anxious than ever, we watched the life and death struggle, the sea well, suffered and died. But let our freedoms be in danger, and we'll pay and suffer and fight to the last man. Hello! Hello! Today we rule the close-packed streets of Manhattan, Chicago, tomorrow the world.